Bon dia, good morning, buenos dias. My name is Roger. And I'm Mayra. Welcome to RM Travels. Today we're going to talk about free things to do in Las Vegas and under $5, including food. Are you ready? You ready? Let's do this. So we're going to start inside the Miracle Mall Shopping Center. So here you can find a free show. This is a rain show. Here they have it uh, Monday through Friday every hour. And on the weekends they have it every half an hour. And if you're there and if you're hungry and this is the morning, you can have a really cheap breakfast under $5. There's two restaurants. There's the Blondie's Bar and Grill. We had a breakfast for $3.99 and that included two eggs, bacon, and hash browns. Just across from these restaurants, there's La Cantina restaurant and you can have a meal for $4.79. Uh, next, we're going to head to the Venetian Grand Canals. Uh, this is inside the Venetian Hotels uh, at the St. Mark's Square. Uh, you can see live plays and shows. Uh, there's some performers inside there. And you also, if you head to the canals, you would see the gondolas, just like you would see in Venice, Italy. And uh, they're singing, and it's, it's a really cool experience to check out. All right, inside the Flamingo Hotel, you're going to see flamingos they have the the flamingo wildlife habitat there's not they're not as pink as we thought but they're really cute to see they have other birds they have turtles and they have fishes as well it's free let's get into the pools uh, if you if it's hot it's summertime we went in the summertime there's two free pools that we found out about one is Dre's and uh, the other one is the link hotel at the link that's the one that we went to. They have uh, chairs that you could sit on. They uh, provide you with free towels and uh, have a DJ playing. It was a great experience. Okay, so if you're into partying, uh, we're gonna tell you how you can get into some parties. Uh, we seen Tiesto for free. We went to a pool party for free. We could have went to more, but we were just kind of tired of partying after a few days. And uh, so what you do is if you see a promoter in the street saying, hey, free clubs, free night show, free Snoop Dogg, go and talk to them. And uh, they're gonna put you on the guest list, which means they're gonna take your cell phone number. They're gonna text you a message and they're gonna say, do you wanna go to this, uh, to this event? Then if you say yes, they'll add your name to the guest list. You just show up at a certain time, which is earlier, and uh, and you'll get in. Next few places that we're going to mention, you need transportation. If you have transportation, it's worth going. Uh, first place is the South Point Hotel and Casino. Uh, if you play at the, at the electronic games at the bar, they provide you with complimentary drinks. Usually they come out to about $2 each. Uh, the games are 25 cents uh, each. And um, what is the name of the restaurant? Coronado Cafe. The Coronado Cafe. If you if you have dinner there after 12 o'clock, it's it's about like uh, 4.95 for a steak and uh, 3 3.95 for a cheeseburger, things like that. So it's really cheap food. Recommended. And good. All right. So the next thing to do for free is to go visit the famous sign of Las Vegas. This is our tip. If you like to take a picture with nobody in there or you just don't like to make lines, you need to go really early, like 6 a.m. We were there at 6 a.m. We took a great picture. Let me show you. Bam. <laughs> but if you don't mind about the picture or you just want to see it or whatever, um, you can go anytime. You just, just make sure that you're going to be prepared to see these big lines. Mm -hmm. If you're in Vegas, why not see a mer live mermaid show? You can check them out at Silverstone Casino. They have a big live tank full of fishes and they have mermaid shows uh, Thursday through Sunday. You have to go to the Hotel Circus Circus for two great reasons. First, they have a free show every day starting at 1130. And then after that, they have it every hour. But they also have free classes. If you ever wanted to learn how to play uh, one of these games or if you just want to refresh, this is the place to go. They have the class of blackjack 10.30 a.m. They have the 11.30 a.m. which is a roulette and craps at 12.30. Roger and I did the blackjack. Since we're on the subject of blackjack, uh, we found a good place for cheap blackjack, $3 or $5 games at Sam's Town. They also have a, a show there, a water show. It's called Mystic Falls. Uh, that happens every two o'clock six o'clock eight o'clock and ten o'clock at night worth it or if you definitely don't want to spend any money just play with yourself and partner <laughs> like we did that play sounds pretty cool though for a vegas video if you don't want to spend any money just play with yourself man 
for the chocolate lovers or for those who just want to learn how to make chocolate they have the chocolate factory M Eto. here you can see how they make chocolate you can see how they make sneakers how it happened to us and you can have a sample for free one per person they also have a cactus reserve so if you're into cactus you just want to see like the different cactus they have they have a, a pretty big reserve and all kinds of cactus they also have some chocolate and wine tasting uh, that's a little bit above five bucks but it uh, seems like it still might be worth it if you're in the game stop by and check out the pinball hall of fame it's uh, a project from the collectors club of pinball and it has over 200 uh, pinball machines and games you can play some of those old games you used to play as you were younger or as your grandparents used to play when they were younger and uh, have a good time we only spent five bucks there games are probably about 25 cents each and definitely worth a really stop fun. do not forget to go to downtown las vegas or all las vegas strip this is a really fun strip because they have all kinds of street performers doing different kinds of shows they have live music and they have the biggest LED screen in the world. They have shows for about six minutes starting at sunset until 1 a.m. And it's definitely worth seeing it. It's yeah. fun. If you're there, you should also check out the Golden Nugget. Um, that's a casino that they hold the biggest Golden Nugget ever found in the world. It is huge. Uh, go check it out. You, you have a blast. The other side of downtown Las Vegas or Fremont Street, uh, they have the container park. Uh, there's a lot of things built out of container there, a lot of uh, different arts uh, built out of uh, the containers themselves. There's restaurants, there's uh, parks for kids and adults like us, and uh, a lot of artwork. It's one of those places that is also worth a visit. Alright, so while you're leaving Las Vegas, don't forget to visit the Seven Magic Mountains. This is an art project in the desert. However, we do need to tell you that it's under revision, so we don't know if they're going to leave them or not. So far they're still there, so if you are over there, please stop there because they're pretty interesting to see. They're pretty colorful. Alright guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below or any tips or anything, let us know. And I guess we'll see you next time. See you next time.